Hello everyone. Welcome to Solve and Solve. Today we will discuss about RP support documents. We will see what all documents are required when the bot is being deployed from a UAD to production. What all are the support documents suggested across industry and how is those documents drafted. So this tutorial is going to be complete guide on the support documents. Let's first understand what is support document and why is this even required at the first place. So to ensure that there is a very smooth transition from UAT to production and there is no hiccups when you're deploying the bot, there are certain standard documents which are suggest suggested to be drafted and to be prepared for the support handover. This document is very helpful because it is a complete guide on what all is required, step-by-step -step procedures and all the thing which is required. Even if there is a developer say not available who has developed the bot, at least someone knows how and what needs to be done. And there is no certain dependency or a hard stop at the, that point of time. Considering in many industry, in, in many of the companies across industry, there is a COE team which does which handles the deployment process so again these documents come very handy but it depends organization to organization what is the structure being followed in your company so uh, but anyway with transition between one phase to another or between one team to another these documents are very these documents really proves to be very handy and helpful so there are certain Specifically, to be uh, there are three documents which are proposed. One is the production deployment checklist. Next is the production release note, and then there is a bot inventory. But these are not only the doc not only the documents which needs to be presented or are suggested. If there is any additional documents which you think of can be of help once for the production migration or post production go live, at least those documents needs to be prepared and sent. Uh, handed over to the support team for the uh, better management of the bot in production or even at the hypercare phase. Uh, we will discuss in detail about each of these documents. We will discuss what these documents are. We will discuss uh, how to even draft it. But for now, uh, to understand, at least post successful bot deployment, then there may be requirements of updating any existing documents as well. So you need to be very much thorough of what were the documents which are prepared, if there has to be any version change or any updation required in the previous documents as well. For example, the uh, uh, maybe the SDDs needs to be revised based on the experiences you had in UAT. There can be a change request which would have come up. Even those kind of change requests needs to be incorporated in the PDD and SDDs and those updated documents needs to be presented as a whole package to the support team. So it's not like I told, it's not only confined to these three suggested app, uh, documents, but rather it can be any additional documents, supporting documents or any other documents which needs to be updated. Those needs to be revised and shared with the team. So now let's look forward onto each of these documents one by one to understand it better. We will first discuss about the production deployment checklist. We'll see how to draft it and uh, how this document seems like. Now let's understand production deployment checklist, what it is. Like the name suggests, checklist is a kind of steps which tells you what needs to be done how it needs to be done and it helps you ensure that none of the steps are getting missed. So this production deployment checklist is a document which provides list of all actions which are required to ensure the successful board deployment. And when we say all actions listed, it also has a very clear call out of who are the action owners for those actions so that there is no confusion at the time of go live that who needs to perform which actions. So this document is referred to as an active document at the time of go live when someone is doing the deployment to ensure each of the steps are being followed by the respective person and there is nothing being missed. What does this deployment checklist includes? Like in the description itself, I told you that these are the bot machine. It has details of like example, what are the bot machine, the IDs, uh, all the list of application involved, step-by-step -step actions which needs to be performed and who are the action owners of these steps. And then status of each actions 
or if any observation or comments which needs to be captured, this deployment checklist really comes helpful at that point of time. Now let's look, let's have a look onto how this deployment checklist look like. This is the Excel, which is a, which is a very basic document, which is, uh, which can be used as one of the production deployment checklist. Again, it can vary basis your experience, your organization, if they want to add something else or think of can be of importance to be captured for the successful go life. But this is the basic document which captures the production VM or the UAT VM from which the bot is being migrated to which VM. So if there is a UAT machine where the bot is uh, um, from where the bot is being deployed to the which machine. So this information comes handy. Then the bot IDs, which has to be referred in UAT versus the production. Then the details of each of the steps which needs to happen. For example, log into the AA client, um, convert log, uh, log into creator, run test bot as creator. So if you see, it is very detailed steps which is captured. And with each of these actions, it is also mentioned which application it is being referred to, what action has to be performed on which application and who's the owner of it. So these are pre-filled um, in the UAT phase. And while we are doing the go live, while the production migration is happening, the status and comments are, are to be filled. For example, if the bot migration has started and this action is complete, so you'll just mark it as complete. Um, and this is a live document at the time of go live. So, um, and if there is any observation which has come across, uh, which has which, which was missed to be captured, or you think of is importance to be captured, you need to mention the comment. So, like you like you can see here, all the applications which requires to be touched um, at the time of go live, and what are the respective actions to be performed on those application, and who is going to be the owner. The, Capturing all these informations really comes helpful at a time of go live and avoids any kind of uh, confusion. And certainly, if there is no confusion, it's going to be a successful migration. So, like, like you would have seen that bot release note really serves as a go-to document for the any of the team who is performing the go live in terms of reference of what are the prerequisite dependencies or any steps which needs to be performed for the successful go live. So what next? In the next video, we will discuss about another production deployment check, uh, document, which is the RP release note. But till then, keep learning, keep growing, stay happy, and stay healthy. Thank you, everyone.